Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is November 21st. I made a video earlier today. You would have already seen it about this gingerbread cookie. I literally just filmed it. <laughs> but, um, it's so cute. Anyways, this is the last thankful video <laughs> for this year. For now, this month, whenever, whenever. Because <laughs> Thanksgiving is coming up here in the U.S. It is on Thursday. But we're technically having one Thanksgiving on Wednesday. And then another one on Thursday. <laughs> we got a lot of plans this week. It's going to be a busy week. I'm probably going to be sore as heck come weekend. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to come on here and offer another thankful giveaway for you guys. Because I am still, still so thankful for all your support over the years. And uh, just being there and commenting and becoming friends with me. And buying my bags and sending prayers when they're needed and all that jazz but um there's gonna be a project bag in this one i just haven't made it yet <laughs> i was gonna make it yesterday but yesterday was a lay on the couch all day and try not to die day so i didn't do that but i'm gonna pick out just a regular print it's not gonna be a christmas print because um i don't know if it'll get to people in, in time for christmas if someone wins it from another country but uh so it'll just be just a regular everyday print <laughs> but it's gonna be a drawstring bag so that's going to be included. I just don't have it to show. I'll show it in the, the next video when I draw the winner on Friday the 26th. So yeah. So rules for the giveaway is you must be <clears throat> a subscriber publicly. And uh, I will link a video in the description below that shows how to make sure your subscriptions are on public. So you guys can go watch that video and check your settings to make sure that I can see that you're subscribed to me. Uh, you need to be 18 or older. If you're in another country than the United States, you need to be able to accept uh, packages from the United States. And you might also be, uh, you might have to pay duties and taxes when it comes into your country. I know that Canada does that and parts of the UK, but I don't know if every country does that. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> the last comment, I guess, is, uh, the last thing is leave me a comment down below. Uh, what's your favorite food to eat around Thanksgiving time? If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, if you're in another country, <laughs> uh, tell me um, your favorite food to eat that's from your country. <laughs> uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So anyways, so it's going to be the project bag when I get it made. <laughs> and then it's also going to be four balls of this yarn. It's Premier Cotton Fair. It's 52% cotton, 48% acrylic, 317 yards each ball. And there's four of them. Uh, so this is what the label looks like. It is a thinner yarn. Let's see here if I can see it. It's a number two, but it's, can you hold of it? <laughs> it is a really pretty yarn. It'd make a nice uh, shirt or something, I think. That's what I originally got it for. And I just never got around using it. It's just sitting in my stash. So there are four of those. This one is a full wall. It's just the ball bend fell off and I can't find it. It's probably still on the shelf somewhere. <laughs> but, um, so there's four of those. It's a pretty pink color. It's like a coral color. Does it have a color name? Bright Peach. So there'll be that, the project bag, and also this keychain. I have one of these that were gifted to me. It's on my purse. And also I gave one away already. I got them on clearance. I got two of them on clearance at Hobby Lobby spring sale <laughs> so i gave one away in another giveaway and then this is my last one i gotta get some more stuff for giveaways i got plenty of yarn but i don't have more little notions so this is really cute i love mine i play with it all the time like when i'm at a doctor office or something i just mess around with it and um it's just so pretty it's blingy who doesn't love pink so that'll be what, that'll be what you get is the drawstring bag when i make it <laughs> the keychain and the four balls of yarn and then i already said the rules uh, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> so I am super excited about Thanksgiving this year. Uh, Devin and Jesse are both off most of the week. Jesse has to go to school Monday, Tuesday, and then he's off. Devin has to work tonight, which is Sunday, tomorrow night, which is Monday. And then he's off Tuesday through the next Tuesday because of his, um, his already scheduled days off just happened to line up to where he gets seven days off in a row. It's really nice. But, uh, yeah, so Tuesday I have a doctor appointment. Um... I gotta go to my mom's to help her set up her printer. <laughs> uh, what else do I gotta do Tuesday? I don't know. Wednesday is Thanksgiving at my sister's house. Thursday is Thanksgiving at my in-laws house. Um, Friday we're going to a church event thing for Jesse to where he can shop for me and Devin for Christmas. Uh, they're letting kids ages 4 to 12 shop for their parents out of a bunch of donated um, gifts. So it's gonna be fun to see what he picks out. And then Saturday, we are planning on to a light show. We haven't made up our mind if we want to go to the one that's all the way in Kentucky yet. 
or just one that's more local to us in a town. It's, it's about an hour away, but it's called Lebanon. And it's got a, two really nice slot shows. One is called the Dancing Lights. That's the one we usually go to. And it's a drive through and it's themed, it's uh, lights with music. And one is called Chad's Winter Wonderland. We haven't been to that yet, but I've always wanted to go to it. And it's also in Lebanon. So, um, I don't know. If we decide to go to the Lebanon ones, maybe we'll go to both. Because <laughs> that'd be fun to do both of them. But, uh, we really want to do the one in Kentucky, but it's such a long drive. I don't know if I'm willing to sit in the car for that long. But we'll see. We'll make up our minds. And then, um, also coming up soon is Vlogmas starting. What is the last day? I think t Wednesday or Tuesday is the first day of December. I can't remember. <laughs> but it's coming up, and I want to do Vlogmas. I'm going to try to do it every day. We'll see. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing a yarn swap with Beverly. Um, I gotta mail hers out actually. I'm gonna mail it Tuesday, this Tuesday. I gotta get a box for it. I thought I had some bigger boxes, but I guess I went through all my big ones. All I got up there in my stash is little tiny boxes, and I need a much bigger box. Because as usual, I uh, I got more stuff than I probably should have, <laughs> but I like gifting stuff to people. But anyways, I gotta mail, and all the orders, the bags are packaged up and ready to go Tuesday. The last giveaway winners is packaged up and ready to go, Kristen. Uh, all that's gone Tuesday because that's the day Devin's off work. He can help me carry all of it to the post office. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing vlogmas stuff starting up soon. I know our town's Christmas parade is on the 11th of December and Devin's off that day, so we're definitely going. Uh, I'm going to be making baking some things for Vlogmas. I'm going to be doing a yarn swap. I'm also going to be doing just a daily thing on my channel. Jesse's got, he's got two advent calendars. <laughs> we, he's got a chocolate one and a... that I got him. It's it's up there. I got it hidden because I know he's going to rip into it if he sees it. But I thought that'd be fun for him to get a new little Lego figure every um, day. <laughs> but yeah, we're just, we're going to have lots of plans. I always do a lot of stuff around the holidays. Just this year might not be as many like involved things. It'll be mostly home things I think because of uh, how pregnant I am and how tired I am. <laughs> but uh, at least there's drive through events here that we can go to and the the uh what's it called the parade we always get there early and get a good parking spot right off the street and then uh we sit there and just play games or uh i crochet and stuff until time for the parade to start and then we can just get out of the car and stand on the sidewalk that's what we normally do because they throw out candy we still do that here um yeah i guess it's better that's like a prequel <laughs> to vlogmas and um yeah, I cleaned off my desk today because I'm not going to be doing any sewing until after Thanksgiving. I'm going to work on the last shop update for the year. It's going to be drawstring bags. And um, I want to pull out one of my Christmas puzzles and do them because I love doing puzzles. I'm probably going to pull out the Christmas cookie one because that's my favorite one. And I'll do that. And then I can start cutting the fabric and getting ready to do that last update. That should come out. I'm shooting for December the 3rd, but it might also be December the 4th. But I wanted to do it around that time, the beginning of the month, because I've had a lot of people ask me to do them then, because that's when they get paid. And also because I don't want to be doing it into December. <laughs> so, that'll be the next update, and the last update, until sometime next year. I don't know when I will sew again. <laughs> just have to wait and see how things go. But yeah, I'm going to hop off here now, because now I'm just chatting. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to record a No Kitchen Name episode, because I have... Like nine or ten finished objects to share with you guys i've been making a lot of little things and this is one of them so there's a preview <laughs> but i'm gonna make three more of these i think so i can give them to my sister my brother and my mom and then we keep one because he's so cute and he's pretty quick it didn't take too long but yeah anyways i'm gonna hop off what am i doing i'm gonna hop off here and i'll see you guys in another video bye guys